What's up, everybody? I'm Bo and Brian. We're yep. back. Welcome to Snack ah. Time. How you guys doing tonight? All right. All right. So we got some new things for y'all for, sure. for the uh, for tonight's episode. But first, I want y'all to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, follow us, check us out on Instagram, Facebook. We're everywhere. So what do we got for him tonight, Brian? We got a couple things, man. First of all, you know what I want to try? They are, are these, uh, I think these are for you. Oh, uh, yeah. These are pretty cool. Yeah, these are uh, green pea crisps. They're like chips, but they're just green peas. Like uh, baked, I guess. They're healthy snacks. They're made out of lentil beans. Oh, yours are made out of snap peas. Yeah, you, they're snap peas. Uh, yeah. We'll show you guys. Uh, yeah, so this is a... Uh, Wasabi ranch flavor. Come on, man. My mouth is watering. Would you open them up already? <laughs> Wasabi. You Wasabi? eat sushi? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who don't sushi? Oh. <laughs> you gotta do that. Man, they put these things in there. They got like a pull tag right here. I'm gonna open mine Ooh. now so we have them open and ready. Whoa. Check that out. Cheers. It even looks like a pig. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mine looks mm. the same. I'll in? try one of these first. Nah, yeah, little wasabi ranch. Like I always say, you can't punk out and just do one. You got to get <laughs> They're almost like Andy's fries. Listen, they're you know those Andy crisp fries? They're kind of like those. They don't have a lot of uh, snap to them. They're almost like a cracker chip type thing. They're not very crunchy. They're in, they're kind of like it's a weird... It's almost like a cheese curl. It's almost like a cheese curl. Exactly That's what, what it is. the texture is. It's got a good wasabi flavor. I don't, oh, I don't yeah. really taste the ranch, but the wasabi flavor is definitely there. I'm going in on the... I got the same thing, but mine are little bean, and um, they're uh, Harvest Snaps little bean, tomato basil flavor. Wow. Yeah, I can't wait to try these. I'm gonna have to slide in on one, cuz. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Now I can tell you right off the bat, the texture is different from those to those. Those mm -hmm. have a little more crunch to them. Mm-hmm. But. I don't taste much of a flavor like I did the wasabi. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just put them right on down. Yep. Put them down. Yeah. I don't even want to give myself a quick rinse. Them things is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, need to, we, need, we might need to wash them flavor down, man. Uh, we have uh, Bolt House Farms makes drinks we picked up. Now, this one is raspberry and blood orange. I think they're healthy. It says 100% fruit juice, so... And I got uh, Bolt House Farms Tropical Goodness. Mine's got uh, two thirds pineapple, a eighth of, I mean two thirds coconut, eighth pineapple, a third apple, half agave, and a splash of that good old dragon fruit. Now these were refrigerated, so they're nice and cold. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. It's got a lot of flavor. Oh yeah. Dang. Ooh, baby. I found a new flavor. I never had this flavor before. That's it, pretty good. I drink these all the time. I yeah. never had this flavor. You know, I'm kind of into these new healthy uh, drinks that they have out. Like, they got the yogurt drinks, and they got these... Uh, They're good meal replacements. Wow. So, did the orange overpower the raspberry in there? Uh, no. No? No. You want to try? Nah, I was just yeah. wondering. Well... Let me go back in. Let me see. Now he's asking crazy questions. Let me see. <laughs> well, because mine was perfectly balanced. I don't have a fl one fruit that's overpowering. It's really nice balance, but I'm still getting I'm getting a lot of orange that comes through there. But it's like a blood orange. Mm -hmm. It's not like a regular, really citrusy orange. It's good. It's really good. So um, those those I would say we can snack head approve those those drinks. Well, we, I got something special for you guys, actually. Oh. Uh, a, a, snack, a snack head out of Downingtown, Justin Brady. What up, Give me Justin? a shout out, Justin. Uh, he told us to, well, actually, he sent these to us, Petri, Pepperidge Farms, caramel, salted caramel cookies. Uh, thanks again, Justin, for being a loyal snack head. And uh, let's see what you got for us, buddy. Let's see what we got here. I, I, I love salted caramel stuff. Now, bro. I, you guys can leave comments too down below, but we want to know: Do you have Petridge, Pepperidge Farm, where you're from? Because uh, I think it might be a local thing, but I don't know how far they I go. Like, open these things. I don't know if they got Pepperidge Farm in California <laughs> or Texas. 
So let us know in the comments if you can. Here you go, Fest. Whoa, you man him, but that boys. I got tired of playing with it. Whoa, that smells pretty caramely and good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. They're pretty good. Mm-hmm. That cookie right there has got a lot of crunch to it. Thank you, Justin. Good looking snackhead. Pepperidge Farm was where it was at. A little bit of milk. I give dang. this a five out of five bellies. Yeah. Pepperidge <laughs> Farm. Dang, that's Ooh. good. Wow. Let me keep it moving though. Yeah. Because you got them white fudge uh, pretzels, and I've been uh, dying to try one of them mm. ever since they jumped out in the store into the cart. Hey, look at this fresh. Now, here we go again. I'm disappointed. Um, I wasn't expecting to get a little pack of pretzels. Nah. At all. Um, it looks like there's maybe about eight pretzels in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, so if you was watching a movie or something and this was your go-to snack, yep. I'd have to give you a thumbs down. Yeah. But as far as flavor, let's see what it's got. Wow, also they're really tiny too. Mm-hmm. But when you get lucky, you get two together. Ah, uh, <laughs> They're not bad, though. They're okay. actually better than that white fudge cupcake you had last time. Really? Last episode, yeah, that. No, these are pretty good. These are actually good. The only beef I had with these is, like he said, they just, they didn't give you enough. Mm -mm. And I guess it's because they tried to stick to 100 calories per pack. But when you're a snackhead, that really doesn't apply. So, they're good, though. They're really good. And it's nice how they balance it out with the salted and the sweet. Dang. I just mm -hmm. might have to go through two or three packs. Whatever. Yeah. I'm going to keep doing them later. Mm. We got one last thing here for you guys. We got chips. Now, these are Cape Cod Kettle Cook Chips. Just the original. A lot of people like original chips. I'm not a huge fan of what I call no flavor chips. <laughs> But uh, some of you guys might be, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a uh, give him a try. And while he's opening that, I'll go ahead and introduce this. Mine is called Late July. Whoa! Uh, it's a nacho chipotle chip. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hype about that. I'm not a big fan of the plain, so I'm mm. glad you took one for the team on that, cause I'm not a fan well, you of know plain what? chips. Usually, plain chips aren't really my thing, but I'm gonna tell you what these. They're kettle cooked. And they're not too. Around. They're not too greasy. They're not too. They're perfect. They're perfect you got, you chips. Got one of them. No, they're good, man. They are good. I don't got no ketchup. Ha! <laughs> but we'll go with the chipotle. We'll try those out. Okay. That was good. Have See, I would trade. Nothing. I'd rather eat those than these, but these are pretty good. I mean, if you like regular chips, they're fine. They're not, they're not going to hurt you, so, whatever. Anyway, I personally want to thank you all for joining us on these episodes. Um, we have a lot of fun in, uh, trying these new foods you guys send us, and uh, I was, I'm really hoping to see more food because um, I haven't had the same thing yet, and it's all because of you. Thanks to all your support. Um, we want you to know that we appreciate every one of you follow, every one of you sitting there watching our shows, following us on Instagram when we're out and about trying new things. Uh, check us out on Instagram, by the way. It's official Snackhead. Um, anything you want to add to that, Brian? Yeah, let me just add in. Uh, if you want to send in snacks for us to be reviewed, like Justin hooked us up, uh, the link will be below where uh, I'll put the address and everything like that in the subscription in the uh, description. I'm sorry. Too much snacks for today. Um, yeah, so thank you guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Have a good night, everybody.